Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are still continuing with our Angular with Bootstrap full tutorial series. We have in this series we are building an application called Arc Reminders, which is a reminder service, and we are making use of all the Bootstrap components in order to learn it. Before we get started, I'll request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. If you find any videos useful, helpful, please do give a thumbs up. Also, like I say, these tutorials are good for both beginners as well as experienced professionals. If you have any doubts, just ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Let's get started. So in this tutorial, we are learning about bootstrap popovers. So what is bootstrap popovers? So just like tooltips that we have seen it in previous episode, so tooltips allow us to, when you mouse over any element, you can show some kind of hint text. Popover is something similar, except that you can add much more content with a better view. And this adds up to, if you have a lengthy text that you want to show and highlight, this is good. So you will you prefer to use Bootstrap Popover as a good user experience. Now, how do we use it? So first thing we have to declare is the function. Uh, and we mention a data hyphen toggle equal to popover and then we will use that so to call it in in the element itself we will use something called data hyphen toggle and equal to popover so when you add that and you provide the content this is where uh, it would you can add lengthy text to it i'll show you all of that in the practical now so let's get started with that so now we are going to see the hands on practical example in real time project Let's get started with bootstrap popovers. Again, if you have any doubts, please ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. So this is the project we are building and this is the output so far. We have our navbar routing. We have our routers here. We have the navigation. We have added uh, the header, the container grid, the separators. We have learned how to use grid. We have put together list group. We have put together button groups. And you see the tooltips are also available now. So now I'm going to change them and make them pop over one of it. Let's say download. So first hop over to getbootstrap.com and then go over to popovers documentation. We are going to take the basic one and then we start building on it. So first thing what we do is we go to our component index.html and we will add that method just like to how we add it for tooltip we'll add the same for popover so this is important to mention that whenever there is data hyphen toggle attribute equal to popover call this method now we can make use of it in our elements so just like how we were calling it data toggle equal to tooltip now i'm going to call it popover right and then we can give some data to it. For example, if you want to add some text, so we can pass something like data content. So data content, now let's reload this. Okay, so you see now, this is like, click on download, here's amazing content, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to disable the click for now. Right? So when you click on it, the data pop over comes up. So this is how data pop up looks. Look, click on it, it will show, click on it, it will hide. Tooltip is mouse over, pop over is when you click on it because I have given data toggle. Right? So when you give data toggle, pop over and you can toggle between show hide so so this is this is something that uh, if you want to simply uh, convey some larger thing about what it is with a small question mark icon or something like that you can always add that it adds up to a good user experience at the end of the day bootstrap is used for enhancing the user experience just like this you can use tool tips where you want to highlight or just convey simple message. If it's a larger one, just click on it and here's some amazing content, right? This is the title that we provided in the title. 
and this is the data content right so this is how uh, we can make use of bootstrap popovers to enhance the user experience do give it a try let me know how you find it if you have any doubts let me know i'll be happy to help you for free in the next episode we are going to talk about bootstrap badges we are going to enhance our application give some use some badges make it jazzy and make it much much attractive and functional so stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video thank you so much see you in the next episode